The mother of the rapper killed that day in the Gold Coast is suing another rapper. She claims that he and his record labels profited from the 2020 shooting. His mother is now suing rapper Lil Durk, the estate of late rapper King Von, record labels, and several right. other music companies. All right, y'all, things are getting pretty interesting. Um, I know a lot of people thought that once the whole FBG Duck trial was over, that was it. But if y'all remember, um, Mama Duck definitely said that it's not over. It's going to be a lot coming after. She mentioned Dirk name a couple times, and I guess this is one of the things that she was alluding to. Now, there's a couple things that I kind of pointed out um, as I read this, this, this article. And it's pretty interesting because if you pay attention, you could almost see that maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying it's 100 percent confirmed, but maybe some type of Rico or something to the extent that Dirk is not off the hook. Let's just say that. Right. And it's kind of interesting because, like I said, if y'all go back to what Mama Duck was saying before, she did say that. Um. Uh, when she was when, when she kept saying little all the people remember when she kept saying all the people involved there's more people involved and there will be more arrests you know so maybe there's some things going down behind the scenes I don't know but if you pay attention to the article they saying a lot without specifically saying it now they say things like um OTF um a criminal enterprise which is kind of crazy um, it, it, it's just a lot. We're going to get into it. I want to play both videos as well so y'all can see, you know, for yourself and get a good conclusion out of everything. And then we're going to talk about it after. But like I said, it, the, the good thing about it is, too, in the video, they're saying that they're going to start holding or they're trying to send a message to the record labels where they can hold these labels accountable for these artists where they're using their music for destruction. And that's pretty much what the whole drill scene is about. The whole drill culture is basically about taking lives, doing crime, and it's almost like you have to do it in order to thrive in the drill culture. Because if it ain't valid what you're talking about, nobody want to hear you, right? So um, I think that's a good take on it as well. They say they want to send a message to the labels and basically saying that they got to start protecting their investment. Right? They got to start seeing what their investment is doing. If they're spreading hatred or, or danger, they need to be held accountable. And I think that's a, a step in the right direction myself. So we're going to get into what they're talking about. I also want to get into the article and point out a few things that I realized. And then we're going to take it from there, man. Before we do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so we can get this video into the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed to the platform already, make sure you do so now. Let's get into it. News tonight, a follow-up on a murder that made major headlines four years ago. The mother of the rapper killed that day in the Gold Coast is suing another rapper. She claims that he and his record labels profited from the 2020 shooting. NBC 5's Chela Vajeski has the story. It is one of Chicago's most exclusive retail corridors, Oak Street, just off Michigan Avenue. But in August of 2020, Oak Street became a murder scene when Carlton Weekly, also known by his rap name FGB Duck, was gunned wait, wait, down. Wait. <laughs> Did he just say FGB? Was gunned down while also known by his rap name FGB Duck yeah, no, was gunned well. down. <laughs> FGB. They could have did a little better than that, man. I know he sound oh, I know you probably don't know, he don't know nothing about the drill culture, but FGB is crazy. While shopping for a birthday gift for his son. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him. Now his family is coming forward with a lawsuit, trying to tie his murder to another Chicago rapper, Dirk Banks, who goes by the name Lil Dirk. Our complaint of law lays out that a $100,000 bounty was placed on the life of FBG Duck to have him killed. A bounty that was the result of a rivalry between two violent South Side gangs, one of them called the O Block. Six O Block gang members were convicted of Weekly's death in January. These individuals murdered Mr. Weekly as part of their effort to maintain or increase their position in the O Block. 
when they say the hundred thousand dollar bounty, right? Um, I see King Von name was brought into this because they're saying that he allegedly put the hundred thousand dollar bounty. But I thought that we we already confirmed that um Dirk's brother um rest in peace, my fault. Money making D thing, he was the one who allegedly had a hand in um putting a bounty out on FBG Duck. This is when we heard that um, one of the suspects was trying to call his phone after everything happened, and he spotted Duck, and I don't know, it's interesting. The lawsuit alleges Dirk's OTF label and other music companies affiliated with it profited from the gang war, fueled by social media and drill rap. Pay attention. When they say things like that, pay attention. Listen to what he said. Other music companies affiliated with it the lawsuit alleges Dirk's OTF label and other music companies affiliated with it profited from the gang war. Fuel the labels profited off of gang war, right? The label profited off of gang war. Mm, that's the, that sound like that Rico to, I don't know. Fueled by social media and drill rap music. The threatening the killing and then the celebration of the killing and the continued killing all on the name of profit attorneys say they want to send a message to the record industry as a company mm. uh, when you realize that you have a dangerous product and you pushing that dangerous product out to the public you have a responsibility to ensure that that dangerous product does not injure or hurt or harm anyone we reached out to the record companies involved, including the Universal Music Group, but have yet to receive a response. The lawsuit also alleges misconduct by the city of Chicago, claiming it took more than 17 minutes for Weekly to receive medical attention. Yeah, that... On Oak Street, Charlie Voice, Husky, NBC5 News. Yeah, now, when it comes to those, there's two things that um, they said that I agree with. One of the things was Doug being on the floor for so long. Um, I think if he would have got medical attention a little sooner, maybe he'll still be here. But we literally seen this man fighting for his life on the ground for, they said, 17 minutes. And if y'all been following this channel for a long enough time, when it first happened, that was one of the first things that we pointed out that was kind of weird to us. Where this man was literally on the ground for a long time fighting for his life. Even when the cops, it took the cops a long time to get there. But even when they got there, um, when they got there, the ambulance ain't get there until <laughs> however long after. Keep in mind, this man was shot in all type of the neck area, the groin, the, the, the body. He was shot all over and he was still moving. You know, it's kind of crazy. But um, once again, so they're saying that they're trying to hold the record labels accountable. The attorney is saying that um, a company is not going to push a product that they know is dangerous in which they're correlating it to the music industry where the, they know that their artists are promoting danger, are promoting gang violence, and it's being carried out and they're not doing nothing about it. And at the hands of them, people are losing their lives. So maybe, maybe this lawsuit might be the start of something that actually is positive. We might, let me tell y'all, if, if they have it to the point where these labels are starting to be held accountable for their artists and things that's going on with their artists. Yeah, we might see a change. However, Mama Duck has to be very careful. And here's why. Because a lawsuit like this can change the music industry when it comes to the drill culture and turn it upside down. And you know them people, them quote unquote people, the people in them high up, when you start messing with their money, you know, um, so like I said, Mama Duck might have to be very careful, but I do think this is a step in the right direction. It's, it's actually smart. And if they got to be held accountable for their artists, I think we'll see less and less crime. So y'all, matter of fact, y'all remember Leo Cohen? Y'all remember when he went to the Breakfast Club and he, he pretty much contradicted himself when he talked about the drugs as being pushed into the urban community and he said it's wrong, but then Charlemagne said, well, if it's wrong, why do you um, you know, sign artists that promote that. And he flat out said, well, I got people to feed. <laughs> right? This is a big, this is Leo Cohen, one of the biggest, biggest executive producers. And he's the head of YouTube music. 
So he pretty much said, listen, I know that it's causing destruction, but I don't care. I got mouths to feed. Crazy. Anyway, let's get into the other. Um, Let's get into this real quick. See what they got to say. We're going to get back to the article. FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was killed August of 2020 outside Dolce & Gabbana on the Gold Coast. The word profit is used 102 times in the suit, claiming the music companies threw money behind rapper Lil Durk and King Von because it made them even more money by keeping the two gang feuds going. FBG Duck was an alleged member of the Flyboy Gang, and Lil Durk and King Von were allegedly part of the gang known as the Only the Family. The two groups would put out diss tracks and increasing their popularity. It's also believed members were signed to music deals based on how they ranked in the gang. On page two of the lawsuit, it shows this image from an album released back in 2019 by Only mm. the Family, along with Alamo Records, Sony Music, and Interscope Records. Lawyers from... Di you see that? It's stuff... And this is why people don't think... They, they always say, oh, social media... You know, like Vaughn or 1700, when he tell you that you can't be indicted off of social media? Look... <laughs> It's things like this that you put out that you got to be careful about. And what this looks like or what they would try to portray it to be like in the court of law, it'll make Dirk look like the ringleader. Right? And here's the thing. If he's showing himself as a ringleader, as you can see right here, and they have somebody like King Vaughn and other people who they already correlated with FBG Duck's demise, what do you think that say about Dirk? Right in their minds, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not speaking for myself. I'm just speaking in general. In their minds, they're gonna feel well if they did it and they had knowledge of it, and Dirk is openly making himself seems like the leader. He had to know about it, right? Dina Zulu Law Group says the chart reinforces the organized nature of the gang. See, yeah. we have laid out in our complaint time and time again numerous individuals um, associated and signed to these labels that were engaged in dangerous, violent activity, which led to August 4th, 2020. It has been a long road, but there's finally light at the end of the tunnel. My sons serve better. So does his children. The lawsuit also accuses the city of Chicago of willful misconduct, claiming that police and emergency services failed to promptly aid FBG Duck because he was alive in the street for more than 17 minutes without any medical help. The store Weekly was shopping at Dolce & Gabbana and its security firms are also being sued for negligence. I did reach out to Lil Dirk's legal team. Right now, they are not commenting on this civil... Now, when it comes to um, the D&G store, I think they need to be held accountable as well. And whatever store that he was trying to go out the back to, because I see it happened so long ago. We haven't covered this in a minute, but if I'm not mistaken, I remember that it was a store, I think Dolce and Gabbana, where he kind of seen what was happening or wanted to go out the back and they denied him. Right? And the, I think he was on the floor longer than 17 minutes, to be honest with you. They're saying 17, it felt like it was longer, but. Yeah, this is, I hope, let me tell you, even though some people, I know they're going to get in the comments, oh, Mama Duck, she doing too much. One minute she want to act like a gangster. Y'all got to understand, she's a mother, right? She's a woman. She's going to be emotional. It's going to be days she lash out. It's going to be days she may be gangster. It's going to be days that she feel like she's missing her child. It happens, right? We can't blame the mother, man, for acting how she acted. It just is what it is. And... Here's another thing, if y'all remember the mayor, right? How ironic it is that not too long after his demise, we seen the mayor, Lightfoot, right? The mayor of Chicago taking pictures with Little Dirt. <laughs> right? So all the, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be looking at all this. Um, not to mention what the mayor said in regards to uh, uh um Duck's passing after he passed and she did that conference and she kind of made it seem like she didn't care you know she was she wasn't sympathetic at all it was, it was crazy so i guess all of this now is going to come up right now let's look into the article real quick because it, it says a lot
All right, so it says here, the list of defendants is wide-ranging and includes Derek Lou, Dirk Banks, and the state of Davon, King Von Bennett, the high-profile record labels, the city of Chicago, Doshi and Gabbana, two private security firms, and the six members and associates of the O-Block faction of the Black Disciples who were convicted in Duck slaying earlier this year. So these are all the people that's being targeted in this lawsuit, right? King Vaughn, Little Dirk, Doshe and Gabbana, two private security firms, I'm assuming that's associated with Doshe and Gabbana, and the six suspects that we seen was found guilty. Um, let's see what else it says. It says, although Vaughn was fatally shot in Atlanta long before the three-month O-Block trial started last November, he was identified as a leader of the gang set and was accused of placing a bounty on Doug's head. This is still confusing to me because I thought that um we already confirmed that it was money making D thing that may have put the bounty on um Duck being that he was called. I'm not too sure, but it's looking like King Vaughn is still being implemented in it. So um let's see what it says here. Piggybacking largely off, I mean, on evidence that was laid bare at trial, the lawsuit filed in Cook County Court holds that Dirk's record. See, look, now, here you go. This is the part that I was looking at. Pay attention to this stuff right here and what they're saying, y'all. It says, piggybacking largely on evidence that was laid bare at trial, the lawsuit filed in Cook County Court holds that Dirk's record label, Only the Family, or OTF, was a criminal enterprise itself. Hmm. The label, which included Vaughn as a signee, has held contracts with the media giant Sony and other larger labels, which allegedly welcome artists engaged in criminal activity. Y'all gotta pay attention to these words because, like I said, a lot of people thought that Dirk was off the hook, but when you see things like this, and they call, they're calling OTF a criminal enterprise. And they're saying that it was evidence from the O Block trial. So, this kind of makes us believe that something may be brewing behind the scenes. I don't want to go out on a limb and say it is, because we don't know. But when it says that evidence that was laid bare at trial. So, they're saying it's evidence that OTF is a criminal enterprise. I'm trying to get to the important parts that highlights a few things that's kind of questionable in this situation. Right? So things like this. OTF emerged from a collective of gangs. Listen, listen. OTF emerged from a collective of gangs on Chicago's South Side and serves as a hub for the O Block criminal enterprise and street gang. Jeez, according to the lawsuit. Dirk and Vaughn identify in the suit as high-ranking members of different sets of the Black Disciples gangs are known for waging a battle of diss tracks. Uh, the suit further alleges that Doshe and Gabbana... Oh, all right. The suit further alleges that Doshe and Gabbana didn't provide adequate security. A guard at the store abandoned his post and Chicago police officers failed to immediately attend to Duck after he was shot. He was left bleeding for uh, 17 minutes before emergency medical crews reached him according to the suit. Now, y'all, if y'all hear me stumbling on the words, I have a crazy toothache. <laughs> That's no hell there, but I know y'all probably wondering. All right, now you go down here. It says Vaughn had, and look, it says Vaughn had previously included a scene of himself taking a man's life named Duck in the video for his track, Took It to the O, released about six months before his rival was deceased. The video has since amassed 288 million views on YouTube. This is why I always tell y'all, be careful what you put on social media. Despite what some of these young artists think or whatever they say, you think they aren't watching and they really are. And even if they aren't watching, when time comes and they need certain evidence or need things to prove their point, they can use things on social media. Clearly. Right? It says, as a result of the M, Little Dirk, O Block, and OTF became international brands, through social media and music streaming platforms and profited through podcasts, social media, and music streaming. Um, in essence, they monetized the unaliving of FBG Duck. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, like I said before, Mama Duck told y'all that <laughs> it's, it's going to be a lot of stuff coming out. If y'all remember, I always tell y'all, pay attention to what Mama Duck says because a lot of people think she's bluffing. 
but she gets firsthand information, right? So she tell you, like she told us before, she said more people involved will be arrested. She stated that clearly before, and she said it's going to be more investigations. And I guess this lawsuit is to prove something, maybe in regards to they saying OTF being a criminal enterprise, and you know what comes after that. So I guess we just got to wait and see, man. This is actually interesting. And um, let's see how far this go. But they had some very key things in here that I wanted to point out. And I want to hear what you guys think about this. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm keep on dropping. And I'm out.